How do you add speakers to your events on LinkedIn? My name is Louise Brogan. I am the host of LinkedIn with Louise and my job here is to help you with LinkedIn by creating content that answers your questions. So recently, one of our followers asked me, um, how can you add speakers to your events? So this is where we are today. Um, so we're on LinkedIn. Here is the LinkedIn platform. We're on the homepage. And if we scroll down, this is when we have existing events, okay? Scroll down and you'll see here are my list of events that I'm attending and also ones that I am hosting. So I'll click on the event that I am hosting tomorrow, Belfast Professional Women's Networking Group. And I'm going to scroll down and in here you can see the name of the event is hosted by me. It's a clickable link. Um, the date that it's on, um, the time that it is on, and the event link for people to get tickets. So, um, how do you add another speaker to your event? So we're going to go in here and you can click edit and you can also click manage. If we click on the edit button, and this is making edits to an event. Now, if you are paying ads to send people to your event, this will pause your active event ad campaign. However, we are not. So we'll scroll down. We've got the event name here, the time zone. Interestingly, it's got it's got the wrong time because it has a uh, Okay, it's saying it starts at 7 p.m. It doesn't start at 6 p.m. So it's not universal coordinated, it's GMT. Anyway, I have to fix that. This is a, a slight hiccup that I'm having with LinkedIn at the minute, I have to say. Um, there we go. Maybe it's my fault because I didn't have Dublin, Edinburgh, Lisbon, London. Who knows? Anyway, so it's the correct time. The address, the venue, the external link, the description, and down here, we can add in any of our speakers. So I'm going to add in Sean Hackett, who is the, oh, didn't see it, did select, like Shauna Hackett, who is my wine tasting expert. And I'm gonna click save. Has it done it? Yes, there we are. So it has now added um, Shauna as a pending speaker. So this is the key. Your speaker then will be notified on LinkedIn. They've been added to an event and they are pending. See here, it says that they are pending. So they need to accept their role as a speaker and then your speakers will show up in the event like that. So we'll look at some other events so just to show you um, what that looks like to other people. So there was um, oh good for business show with my friend Michelle. We are going to be speaking uh, on May the 19th about LinkedIn for business and we scroll down, you will see that I have accepted the speaking role. So it shows Michelle and it shows myself speaking in here. You, I wonder how many people you can actually add in as your speaker. So if we go to, this is a conference that was on by Shane McCann. And he has one, two, three, four, five, six speakers inside his event. So I hope that helps you um, learn how to add speakers to your event once your event is already created. Um, if you want to know how to create an event on LinkedIn, we have another. Um, oh, let's just stop the sharing. We have another video that helps you how to do that, which you can check out here on the channel. So please subscribe and any questions you have about how to use LinkedIn for business, let me know below and I'll do my best to answer them.